I feel like I didn't take as much time out for myself. So I'm trying to make this self-care thing kind of like a ritual on Sundays. I just feel like we have to be nicer to ourselves because, girl, don't you forget that taking time out for self-care is showing yourself love. And hello, we love ourselves over here. And let me just say that self-care can be anything from doing your hair, doing your nails, doing your eyebrows, getting a facial done, getting a massage done. Anything that you enjoy, that you find peaceful, that you find relaxing, that will make you feel better, that is self-care. So with this new year, I personally wanted a small boost of confidence. So I got my hair done. I got it dyed black, nothing new. But I just love the black. It just makes me feel a hundred times more confident, to be honest. And then getting it straightened as well is a big change because I always have curly hair. So when I do get it straightened, it's just like, damn, like who is she? Oh my God. Which, by the way, I'm just going to show you guys a little recap of it because I did go to the salon and I filmed it. Besties, I'm getting my hair done. Finally going to cut my end and re-dye my hair. So excited though. Let's go. We made it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Everybody's so gentle. <laughs> freaking pretty y'all pushy i don't know i really i love it i really do i think is it cute so you don't have to dye your hair you don't have to straighten your hair if you don't want to you don't have to cut your hair like i said whatever self-care means to you that's what you're gonna do and on my channel i just want us to start practicing self-care at least once a week so since i did my hair i was going to do this on friday but you know it's sunday i'm just gonna take this day to just really reset and do this we're gonna take a bath we're gonna journal we're gonna read we're gonna just relax and take time out for ourselves because we deserve it okay so let's just get right into it i'm gonna take a bath now because girl i am so sore from the gym so i did quads and glutes last and oh my gosh you guys my legs so i'm gonna take a very hot steamy bath i'm going to just relax i might just put a face mask on this is the face mask that i usually put on i think this is what i'm gonna do while i take a bath it's always nice to take a hot bath take that time to just unwind relax and Como de peja la mente, just forget about everything, you know, girl? And I'm excited. I haven't done a self-care day in so long, so I'm really excited for this. I just love how I feel after everything. Girl, it is the best feeling ever, I'm telling you. But on this channel, let me just say this real quick. On this channel, we are working on self-love. We're working on being more productive. We're working on, you know, just being our best selves this 2024. And I'm going to start posting these on Sundays so that whenever I post these, you can go ahead and do the same, girl. Like, we're on FaceTime or something, you know what I mean? Like, if you're not going to hold yourself accountable, I will. Like, we're going to sit down every Sunday and we're going to do this together. done with our bath our shower everything i read a little bit of my book i started it in summer but i never got to finish it i really want to finish it i had said that i want to finish reading two books a month and it's already january 7th and i hadn't even started reading so i was like okay i need to catch up on my reading that book is also really good because it just helps you learn how to release things and like let things be and change your way of thinking so instead of thinking so negative like kind of changing your life by thinking positively i love the book during summer that book was amazing for me it helped me in so many ways and i felt so at peace with myself like something that i've never felt before now we're gonna work on 
skincare. So we're gonna steam our face to then do some extraction and then remove all the peach fuzz because it's that time. I got this steamer off of Amazon. If you guys are wondering, it's a really good steamer. It does the job and it's not too expensive. I personally like her. I put purified water in it because, girl... She does the job. I've had her for a while now. I'm pretty sure I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. Yeah, you guys can definitely check that out. I'm gonna play some music and just enjoy the moment. That's something I want to work on more as well, being more present. Because I feel like I don't, I'm not really in the moment usually, and I don't like that. Like, I want to enjoy myself. I want to enjoy this moment because I'm never getting this time back. <laughs> you girl that felt so amazing i really needed to do that i don't want to speak badly on myself or like how i am naturally and i love my curls but i don't know just straight hair makes me feel so much more like in a way put together or like cleaner and i feel like that's so bad because it's like why can't i feel that way with my curls anyways done with skincare i shaved my face as you guys could see um i really needed to do that because i try to do it once a month last time i did it i think was in december so yeah it was definitely time my skin is glowing y'all be honest i'm hungry and self-care is feeding yourself because if you love yourself you're going to feed yourself for some reason i've been thinking about little me for a while now and when i am too lazy to cook i'm just like why stephanie why are you starving little you like would you starve little you no that's why also i want to be nicer to myself because i'm like my friend soleil and i were talking about this yesterday because i had a little breakdown i hit 70k on instagram and i was just so proud of myself and i was like oh my gosh baby me is so proud like i know i am making her the happiest and that just makes me want to do more push more push to actually reach my goals more i just feel so much more motivated when i think about it that way and yeah so then i saw a picture of of little me this is a picture i saw i literally started crying because i was like wow first of all when you're a kid you're so innocent to the world and what's to come for you and like what you're gonna go through like you have you really have no idea so just seeing that picture just i don't know it made me so emotional i was like you are so cute Oh, you are so beautiful. Like, you're such a beautiful little girl. The point is that I just know that I'm making little me so proud because everything that I'm doing right now is everything she wanted to do. And I'm making that into life. So, I don't know. That just makes me so happy and emotional. If you ever find yourself being mean to you, look for a baby picture of yourself. Really just think about it. Do I want to be mean to little me? No. Like, that's a kid. It's an innocent, beautiful pure child just something i feel like everybody should think about with everything they want to do just always think about little them um when it comes to prioritizing yourself when it comes to your goals when it comes to your health like always think about little you but yeah so that's why i'm about to make myself food because if i saw little me asking me for food because she's hungry what am i gonna say no i'm not gonna cook for you i'm lazy no i'm not I'm about to make myself some chicken salad because it's the fastest thing to be honest and I'm very hungry. This is a lot of chicken for my salad. I think I'm just gonna cook it all and I don't know, maybe just save it. Please tell me you also don't like to save chicken in the fridge though because for me, if I live it in the fridge after I cook it, I feel like it tastes a lot like chicken. Oh, a lot more energized than I did before and I feel so good right now. I'm gonna make myself some food now and then after we're gonna journal and watch some Netflix, girl. I never knew about Gilmore Girl until maybe October, November and I have been obsessed. I'm only on season two because the episodes are like really long. It's my literal comfort show. Other than Spongebob, Spongebob is like my only other comfort show. But wow, Gilmore Girls, if you haven't watched Gilmore Girls, girl, let me put you on. I don't know, something about it just feels so good to watch. love making status, like these cute, satisfying videos, but I also love talking. And I forget sometimes that like YouTube is not TikTok. If you come to my YouTube channel, you're watching me because you enjoy to hear me talk for a long time. You know what I mean? So yeah, I still want to do like these cute little edits. But I also want to make longer videos where, where I just talk to you because that's the point of YouTube. I'm not even going to lie to you. I forgot I got sucked into a rabbit hole on TikTok. Um, 
and I, but I ate my salad, let me tell you. I edited my shorter version of this video for TikTok and Instagram. And you guys, I just hit, I just hit 4,300 subscribers on YouTube. Literally like not too long ago. And I was like, okay, I need to journal. I need to manifest. I just need to do that right now because I'm feeling it. And if I talk about it, I'm going to cry, you guys, because I feel... <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I'm not trying to say negative things about me and the way I am, but you know, sometimes it's a bit stressful that I'm so emotional. So I'm about to get my period in like three days. So maybe it's that, but I'm just so proud of myself because I don't know, like I have support from like from people that are around me. Yeah, my boyfriend is probably like my number one supporter and my mom, but sometimes, you know, because I'm not as consistent on social media, she'd be like, girl what are you doing yeah like those are the two people that believe in me the most and i know that there are people let that be people that i considered friends or you know was friends with whatever even family that don't really see me maybe making it there's always gonna be people especially when you're doing things that you love there's always gonna be people that aren't really gonna believe in you it's okay but sometimes i found myself believing that and falling into whatever that they were saying and that's not good girl whatever it is that you want in life Please focus on that and just work on it because it's your life, you know? Nobody else's life. Nobody else can live it. Nobody else can experience it. And apart from it being your life, you only get to live it once. So it's like, why not do whatever makes you happy? This makes me so happy. This is, you know, sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed when I don't organize myself. It's just so much fun for me. But I feel like I keep doing it because I have a purpose and I have a goal. And that is to make whoever watches my video feel like they have a friend that they can hang out with, that they can talk to, that they can just... I don't know get advice from or any type of motivation that they need i also want to be somebody to spread love i feel like social media is very different right now it may or may not be a kind of toxic place and i just kind of want to be i don't know a place where it's just positivity and love this world really needs it so yeah that's kind of my goal girl i've been on a talking spree huh just ordered some sushi I love sushi and I'm going to journal. Honestly, I think journaling is so fun. Okay, so I got my journal. Something that I realized and I just want to share this with you guys from what I experienced. Let's work on not only journaling when we're going through either really bad times in our lives or really good times in our lives. Like if we are going to journal, we're going to journal all throughout the year. When we do have good times or when we do have bad times, but not only the good times and not only the bad times specifically. Journaling for some people is really hard. For me, girl, as you can tell, I talk a lot. For me, journaling is literally just writing down whatever I am thinking about. But I wanted to be more specific with it and I wanted to actually have things to talk about or to write about so this is the journal prompt so it's in the morning and it's at nighttime as well and the morning one is five things that i'm grateful for intention for the day who i want to be for myself and others and affirmations which is something that you and i are going to practice more okay and at night times things that i'm proud of today things i love about myself today what did i learn today how did i feel today what was holding me back today and i forgive myself for so we're gonna do journal entry number one and i'm gonna write the date so i can remember this it's January 7th, 2024. Ew. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm gonna write down in my little journal. The things I am proud of today are one, my dedication for this self care Sunday. My positivity today has been amazing. Like, I have been positive since the moment I woke up. How positive I've been today and grateful is just so it's just so amazing so that's another thing that i'm proud of today i was really in the moment so i like that because i'm trying to live more in the moment like i said earlier so things that i love about myself today mm. it's gonna sound crazy but i feel like majority of the people think people that create content are super confident and like you know outgoing and stuff it's not it's not really like that and it's really hard when you have to sit in front of a camera and stare at yourself every day um, it kind of starts messing with you and um, just being on social media as well, I compare myself a lot to other people. Ooh, that's so hard sometimes because I don't want to be like that, but I just, I can't help it, you know, like I'm human. So today I didn't have that problem. I didn't compare myself to anybody and I just feel really good about myself. I don't know if it was this little self-care Sunday girl. I don't know. I don't know if it's the hair, but I feel good about myself today. I love my commitment today. Creativity. 
And out of all the days today, I love my kind heart the most. Uh, okay, so next question. What did I learn today? I feel like I learned to just slow down, soak in this time of my life that I'm never gonna get back, this age that I'm in that I'm never gonna be again, and just really appreciate it. Another thing I learned today is that taking a day to do self-care really changes your whole mood. What was holding me back today? And I would say what was holding me back today is my laziness. And lastly, what do I forgive myself for? Okay, so what I forgive myself for is those breaks. Being a little lazy because I feel like last week I really pushed myself. So I forgive myself for that today. I forgive myself for waking up a little later and not getting a bed until like almost 10 o'clock. Like I forgive myself for that today. And this is what it looks like. I just kind of did it like that. Um, so now that that's done, I'm just going to write down my manifestations and just write down how I feel. I just finished journaling and I feel so good. I am so happy. I know this week is going to be good. Tomorrow, Monday, is going to be good. This whole week is going to be amazing. Oh, my sushi's here. We're going to watch some Gilmore Girls now. I'm so excited. This is all I've been waiting for. My food? And kill my girls. Oh no, my sushi fell. But this is my sushi. And I'm just gonna eat this. Watch my Gilmore girl. Oh my gosh. Mm. really talk in these ew and it tastes so bad i have my whitening strips on i'm about to watch the rest of the episode of gilmore girls i just wait till i can take this off so that i can go to bed that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video so much it was really fun and like therapeutic for me to make i hope this video helped you i hope you did your self-care and if you didn't that's okay do it whenever you have the time whenever you feel like you can i hope you have an amazing week i love you and i'll see you on wednesday i think yeah wednesday bye